It was the third and final debate for the 14th congressional seat with incumbent Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez facing off with Michelle Caruso Cabrera and Badrun Khan. She defended her position on job development and her vote against the CARE Act, the second stimulus package from Washington, she has been critical of, saying it doesn't do enough for small businesses. When you look at what happened with the CARES Act, you know, those hospitals did get the, that money, mm -hmm. but a lot of those small businesses, when PPP first rolled out, mm -hmm. have not gotten the relief that they needed because they don't have access to the big banks and the special relationships required. Right. And so for me, it's about making these bills better. Ocasio-Cortez questioned Carissa Cabrera, who she said lived at Trump Towers before moving to Sunnyside, Queens, suggesting the candidate was out of touch with the community. Meanwhile, Caruso Cabrera criticized her for failing to secure the Amazon deal. She drives away jobs. She voted against $75 billion for hospitals at the height of the crisis. She voted against coronavirus testing. She voted against money for jobs. The debate sponsored by the Parkchester Times and BronxNet Television was moderated by Gary Axelbank, who at the Golden Palace Catering Hall at 1451 Unionport Road read questions sent electronically from Parkchester residents. She understands the minorities' problem. She understands the immigrant issues. So therefore, I think it's very important for us to elect Kodrun for this next election. Here with supporters following the debate, community activist Badrun Khan painted herself as a longtime resident in touch with their needs. I'm supporting the universal basic income, $1,000 for every adult citizen. That is something I'm pushing for right now. As you can see, the community is suffering. We have economically disadvantaged people. Mm -hmm. People are, are waiting on lines for food. Mm -hmm. So I'm really pushing that. It's a permanent basic income. Well, this group was not allowed to be in, but as you can see, there is a lot of interest on the issues that are facing this community here in the 14th District, Arlene Makoko for Bronx now.